Using ephemera is a 32 page guide perfect for those of you who haven't used ephemera before and for those of you who have. So if you'd like to add some extra dimension to your project or want some new ideas on different ways to use the ephemera you've got lying around, here is the perfect idea book for you. We've got in the beginning um, a couple pages that cover the basics of scrapbooking layout for you. It's going to walk you through the basic steps both of scrapbook pages and um, card making. So it's going to take an approach with a lot of different projects. You can add ephemera to just about anything. Here we're using the definitions and words ephemera and we're going to walk through lots of different sections um, of different kinds of ephemera that you could use. So starting off with that, definitions and words. Here we've got botanical ephemera and some different projects for that. And for each project you're going to have the illustration of the project you're going to find a breakdown of the elements that have been used and how to complete that project. So you've got the instructions, the material list, and the project itself. We've got four different designers creating projects for this book, so you're going to see a variety of different designs. Here's Journey Ephemera. Again, you're going to find a mix of pages and cards. And of course, you could add this ephemera to other projects as well. You have a section on vintage ephemera. You're going to find 47 different projects in this book. So lots of different ways of using ephemera and lots of different kinds of ephemera so it might inspire you to use some things you haven't tried before. This is the vintage ephemera again. Moving into Marianne's word garden ephemera here. Again, all these projects have got full instructions with them. And it's really handy to have the full color photos of all these projects to help inspire you. At the back of the book here, we've got word bench, workbench ephemera. So some fun masculine approaches here. And lots of ideas on different ways to use this ephemera. Again, in the back of the book, a couple more tools on embellishing or distressing your ephemera and um, some techniques to help you get started on embellishing your project.